So I think the point of this place is to create a fake Kowloon Tong city because we don't have places like this anymore. So we make fake place, places like this for Instagram and stuff. So they have this stinky tofu place here. Like Huna stinky tofu, not Cantonese food, but it's still something we see a lot in China, uh, Chinese street when uh, uh, China. So, inside this restaurant, they're all fake, they have fake door. This literally looks like my grandmother's door, <laughs> a front gate. You see, whenever I go back to my hometown and visit some relatives, they have the old style gate like this. They still use the key. Now I use fingerprint. Oh no, I still use the key. But they don't use fingerprint in no time. It's like this, rusty. Okay, let's head over to the other side. It looks rusty, but they all things are clean. They're in a, they're all packed. decoration but in the countryside in China is exactly like that so they are creating a scene a fake scene for you to take pictures if you have never been to a, a, country, a countryside in China oh this is a psychic Chinese psychic so this is a recreation of an old style Chinese house we don't have many of this left but like my great-grandparents so they live like a house like this. They have the calendar, they have the painting, Chinese painting, I remember those horses. This cross is so old. Oh, I ate this after school all the time when I was a kid. It's like a, a jelly thing, red bean jelly cake. Not for high heels, they say not for high heels there. Okay. Because it's still kind of dangerous over there. <laughs> this place is pretty cool. A lot of uh, young people, they come here for their Instagram pictures. Wow. And people buy food and stay here. I don't why, know why they have a tax. So in total, there are three floors. Yes, renting all this equipment, filming equipment, old style.